In this section, we will um, we continue to discuss about the risk management objective test question. We select question 7, question 9, question 11, and question 12 to discuss and share. Question 7 here, the information provided is the home currency of ACB company is the dollar, uh, and it trades with a company in the foreign country whose home currency is the dinner. So the foreign information is available. You have spot rate, home currency at 20 dinner per dollar, and also you were provided with the interest rate and inflation rate as well. So in other words, um, it asks you about the four exchange rate in six months time. Because it asks for forward rate, okay, just repeat um, the formula sheet provided two related um, formulas to you. One is the IPPP, the other one is IRP. Okay, interest rate parity and purchasing power parity. And for PPP, it is for um, it is for future spot rate forecast. Okay, what we see in simple terms, it is S1. For interest rate parity, it is the forward rate or the current forward rate. Quote reference. Okay, it is F0. And in this question, you are asked to work on the forward exchange rate. So please remember which formula that you can apply here is the interest rate parity. Interest rate parity, F0 equal to S0 times 1 plus the One plus the interest rate uh, in B, country B, and divided by one plus the interest rate in country C or the home currency here. And for the S naught here is two twenty twenty dinner per dollar, so it's twenty. And um, for the interest rate, which is three percent. For home currency and seven percent for foreign current for foreign country, and it's per year. So in six months' time, for foreign country is three point five percent. Okay, and one point five percent for local. So the F no here, work on it. Which is. 20.39 dinner per one dollar, which is A. Okay. So next objective test question, question nine. Uh, which of the following uh, descriptions of basic risk? So you have to check which one is the descriptions of basic risk. Um, first, is it a difference between the spot exchange rate and the currency futures exchange rate? Is it correct? For the basis risk, it is not the difference between the spot exchange rate and the currency future exchange rate. Okay, it is not because the basic risk, the basic risk is 
here. It is the possibility that the movements in the currency futures price and the spot price will be different. It's not about the difference between spot rate and the currency futures rate because the difference will be here, will be there. And it is normal and it's not the basis risk. And the basis risk refers to the possibility that the movements in the currency futures price and the spot price will be different, then it is the risk. It is the, the base, it is the description of basic risk. It is also the one of the descriptions of basic risk. And third, it is the difference between the fixed and floating interest rate. It is not correct to well, the basic risk is about the futures. Um, the futures price is not about the fixed and floating interest rates. For the fourth, it is one of the reasons for the imperfect currency approaches hatch. Yes, is correct. Because um, for the futures hatch, the futures price uh, market dem demand supply driven which is um, not the same, uh, the demand supply forces, which is not, which are not the same as in the spot market. So it is one of the reasons, yes, it is one of the reasons for imperfect currency futures hatch. Then the answer here is C. So move on to the next objective test question, question 11. It asks you about um, country X and country Y. Country X uses dollar as the currency and country Y uses dinner as their currency. And country X expected inflation rate is 5% per annum compared to 2% per year in country Y. And country Y's nominal interest rate is 4% per year and the current spot exchange rate between the two countries is 1.5 dinner per $1. So the question is, you are asked to base on a four-way equivalence model, which is the, which of the following statement is or are true. Okay, so here I would like to share with you how to use the four-way equivalence model table or chart to work on the correct answer. And here, here the interest rate different okay and also the expectation here is the expected inflation difference okay remember this here is the Interest rate parity theory, IRP, and here is the PPP for interest rate difference is explained by by what by in IRP and for expectation or expected inflation difference is explained by PPP. So they're evil. And it's the Fisher effect. Here is the international Fisher effect. Here is the expectation theory. Okay, here is chart. Explain it here um what is the four ways equivalence model. And the information provided to you here, the inflation for country X is 5%, for country Y, 2%. And for country Y, the interest is 4%. 
Okay. So you are asked to, for example, to work on nominal interest rate should be 7.06% per year. Is the first statement, whether it's true or not. Let's check. Okay. Based on the um, Fisher effect. Country Y divided or the interest rate, the nominal interest rate by country Y divided by its real um, inflation rate should be the real rate. And Fisher, uh, Fisher effect mentioned that the real rate, the real interest rate of different countries should be the same. The, the differences between two uh, countries' um, interest rate is because of the inflation. So based on this, we saw for X here, X is 6.0. Seven point oh six percent is the nominal interest rate. So for the first statement, it's correct. And next, the future expected spot rate after one year time should be one point four five seven one. Okay, because it's asked about the expected spot rate, then is the PPP should applied. Let's check the information. For PPP, what is the S S naught? S naught is one point five. The spot exchange rate now times inflation rate, which is one point two percent in country Y and one point five percent in country X. So what's the future expected spot rate? For one year time, it's one point four five seven one. Okay, so the second statement is also correct. In the third statement, country X real interest rate should be higher than that of country Y. Okay, in the four way equivalence model here. Okay, here in the four way equivalence model here. Um, the real interest rate for two countries are assumed to be the same, okay? Because in the long run, um, cost of capital, the real cost of capital should be aligned with different countries, except um, except the inflation rate, okay? But it, 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 is, it, is, it is a theory or it is the principle under four ways equivalence model. Honestly, um, in the real case, this may not be the case, but in this model, it's, say, it's saying that. And because of it, so statement three is not correct. And the answer here should be B, one and two only. So next, objective test question 12. The information provided to you is you have you are provided with country Y currency, country X currency. Okay, one is dollar, the other is peso. And the interest rate for country Y is 1% per year. Country X interest rate is 3% per year. And country X expected inflation is 2% per year. And you are given the spot exchange rate in country Y is 1.6 peso in country X. Okay, can exchange for one dollar in country Y. So it it is asking you how to work, how to get the current six months forward exchange rate in country Y. So remember this ILP interest rate parity theory. The current uh, spot exchange rate equal to the current spot rate times the interest differences between these two countries.
for S no, it's one point six. For country X interest, it's three percent per annum or one point five percent per six month. Okay, and for country Y, one percent per year or point five percent per six months. Okay, we are provided such information, then we can work on with the formula here. For S0, which is, for S0, which is 1.6 times 6 month interest rate, So you can get the answer, it's 1.62, okay, it's the correct answer. And just to repeat, okay, bear in mind, okay, um, the differences between interest rate parity and the purchasing power parity is for purchasing power parity, purchasing power parity, it is inflation, it's all about inflation, okay, all about inflation. Um, for interest rate parity, it's all about the cost of capital in different countries should be the same in the long run, in the long run, okay? And so the, um, and for the purchasing power parity, it is used to, to uh, forecast um, the exchange rate in some times later, but for, but for um, interest rate parity, it is used for the a forward rate quote is used for forward rate quote. So the applications are difference between these two uh, series or formulas. So bear in mind, it's very important for you to understand them well before you are starting to work on your past paper.